Move on, because that's what Vanessa was able to do when she gave up her kid. Vanessa, you know Melissa Hayden, guiding light. Better. She doesn't give a damn about how I feel. She probably just wishes that I would just drop dead. That is not true. Oh, come on. You know, that would probably be better for everyone involved, because they're all trying to forget where Peter came from. But you know what? I'll tell you something, Dylan. I will never forget where Peter came from. Never. And the Emmy for Outstanding Younger Actress in a Drama Series goes to Melissa Hayden. Goodness. Uh, okay, English, Melissa, English. Um, I want to thank my family, my friends. I want to thank the Academy. I'm not in the shower and I'm saying that. <laughs> I want to thank my coworkers. Thank you so much. And um, I really, really, really want to thank um, my teachers. You know, I, I think that they work for, you know, crappy money and, and they don't get a lot, you know, and, and they have given me so much. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, B. I love you guys. Oh, man. <laughs> that night, it changed everything for me. <laughs> yeah, that night pretty much kicked off my year on Route 66. I'm serious. That night changed everything in my entire life. Look, Bridget. You give me way too much credit. Okay, you give me much too much attention and and everything. I love you. No. No. Yes. No. Yes, I love you. Bridget, you don't want to say that. I do want to say it. I love you, Hart. I love hey, you. Stop. I want to you don't want to say things that you're just gonna want to take I back. I don't want to take this back, Hart. Would you stop? Please. Please, just let me love you. I, I know that you've been hurt. And I know that you're lonely. I am too. That's why we need each other. And that's why we've got to stick together, okay? Oh, please, Hart. Oh, please. I want to. No, oh, Bridget, it's not okay. Yes, it is. This is how it should be with us, Hart. No, mm, it really isn't. But you don't like kissing me? Because you sure as hell act like you do. Bridget, I like you. Period. All right, that's it. No, it's not. That is not at all it. Look, Hart, I can feel I it. am not a particularly nice guy, all right? Yes, you are. No, listen. I'm not. All right, so if a cute girl like you wants to party, you know, I'm going to pretty much go along with it, even if there's no future in it. There could be a future for us. No, you see, that's the problem, Bridget. There's not. I'm telling you, there's no future for us. Not like you want. Do you believe in signs from God? What do you mean? What kind of signs? Okay, basically I'm talking about little signs. Just like a feeling you get from someone. Have you, have you ever had that feeling that... that you were inside somebody's skin? And it wasn't just that you knew what they were feeling? I mean, it was a, you could feel it, too. Yeah, I felt that. But I'm not saying that everything is perfect between us. 
And I'm not saying that Look, we don't have a long Bridget, way to go. Bridget, that night... I know, you were... You, you had something to drink, and that was... The... No, Bridget, I was drunk. No, you weren't. You weren't drunk. You made love to me. Huh? No, I never made love to you. Yes, you did. Bridget, it was Julie. I made love to Julie. Don't you dare even say Listen that. Listen to me, you know it's true. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It was her that I had in my mind. It was her that I was seeing. It was her that I was with that No, night. you were with me it that night. It might not be right, okay? And it's probably not fair, but it's the way it was. And it's the way it still is. Bridget, so much of what goes on just goes on in our minds. No. Look, you want me, and I want her. This was not just in my mind, Hart. There are repercussions Oh, this. don't you think I know that? Don't you think I feel like some kind of creep for using you like that? Ah, I just wish there was something I could say or something I could do that would make up for all this. Something I could say, Bridget, to make you feel better about yourself. I don't want you to make me feel better about myself, Art. <laughs> Art, I want you to understand this is about more than me and oh, you. What do you want from me? What do you really want, huh? You really want to be with me, huh? Is that what you want? You want to just lie down here and let me take your clothes off? Huh? And we'll just do it? That's what you really want, Bridget. I'll tell you something. This is the God's honest truth. We can do it. Yeah. Oh, I could kiss you and I could mutter some sweet stuff in your ear. But you know what? When we wake up tomorrow morning, I'm going to take one look at you. And I'm going to hate you. Because you're not her. Because you're not Julie. Is that really what you want, Bridget, huh? Is that good enough for you? God, I hope not. I wouldn't wish that on my own worst enemy. right in here and just <laughs> yeah anyone could have absolutely anyone I'm your mom and I'm gonna take care of you okay okay Tell Billy who Peter's father is? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't say a word about it. Okay. Why would you even ask me a question like that? It's not important. Well, yes, it is important. If you think Billy's drinking, this is very Billy important. Billy is not drinking. Well, I don't know. There's something going on around here. Hey, the car's all warmed up. You ready to go? Yeah, I'll be with you in a minute, Dylan. Dylan, it's, uh... Be careful driving, okay? There are a lot of, a lot of crazy people coming home from parties. Vanessa, I want to know why you're so jumpy around me. She keeps me telling Billy who Peter's father is, which I didn't do. And then I said I believed you. Yes, and now I just want to know what's going on here. There seems to be one adult missing from this good, stable family that's supposed to be raising my son. Oh, Bridget, for heaven's sakes, it's the holidays. There are lots of people coming and going. Fine, just brush me off like that. Fine. Look, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to hurt your feelings when I told you just to let Peter go back to sleep. But if he needs a bottle, or he needs a blanket, 
or he needs to be rocked back to sleep. That's not your job anymore. Do you think it's easy for me to forget that that's my baby up there? I think that you're forgetting that he's Billy's and mine now. You're making it very difficult for everybody by coming over here all the time. I just want to see him. That's all. I understand. I really understand. I told you that I placed my little girl for adoption a long time ago. I told you that. But I haven't forgotten the way it felt. But I did it because I really believed that she would have a better life that way. Same reason you're doing it. And now you're just wishing that I would just drop off the face of the earth, huh? Because that would just solve all your problems. I got this plastic siding up for the storm. It really helped. So why'd you want to come all the way out here, Bridget? It's New Year's Eve. Hold on time. It's also dark and cold and four o'clock in the morning. You don't have to stay if you don't want to. Do you enjoy beating yourself up? I mean, we just left the baby that you couldn't keep. And what's the first thing you do? You come to the old house of the father who you probably never see again. I didn't come here to dredge up old sweet memories of heart. That's what you're worried about? I came out here because of Vanessa. What does Vanessa have to do with anything? You know what the problem is with these so-called high-class people? They think that if they use the right words and the right tone of voice, people like me aren't going to notice how damn rude they're being. Vanessa was not being rude to you. She practically just kicked me out of her house. What do you call that? Lewis Hospitality? I call it a bad time. It's always a bad time no, when I'm around. No, that's not true. Vanessa's been very good to you, Bridget. She was good to me when I had something that she wanted, Dylan. My son. Now that she has him, she treats me like I'm just a pest to her. That's not fair. <sighs> no, it's not fair. Here is being treated like I've done something wrong just because I want to see my son. What's not fair is that I'm being told I've got to just get over it. Move on, because that's what Vanessa was able to do when she gave up her kid. Vanessa well, you know what? I am not Vanessa. To try to make you feel better. She doesn't give a damn about how I feel. She probably just wishes that I would just drop dead. That is not true. Oh, come on. You know, that would probably be better for everyone involved, because they're all trying to forget where Peter came from. But you know what? I'll tell you something, Dylan. I will never forget where Peter came from. Never. Yeah, well, maybe that's the problem. What are you talking about? Vanessa is tired of auditioning as a fit parent for you. She doesn't have to do that anymore, Bridget. Well, she made that really clear tonight, didn't she? That's true, Dylan. Tell me why. Why is she so nervous around me, huh? Why? Maybe you're just a little sensitive when it comes to Vanessa. You have no idea. You're not there. You don't know. You don't hear it. She's like a robot with me. Oh, yes, Bridget. Please come in. We'd be delighted to have you. Vanessa is very formal. That's the way she is. No, that is not the way she is. That's not the way she is with you or Mindy or anybody else. Just me. It's like she's so... It's like she's so controlled. Don't she's so controlled, I just want to reach out and smash something. You know, I think the reason Vanessa gets so nervous around you is because you're so unsettled. Well, do you think that might have something to do with the unsettling year I've had? Peter hasn't had an unsettling year. In fact, he's had a great year. He's had a great life. Isn't that what you wanted? Yes, that's what I want more than anything else in the world. Well, that's what Vanessa wants more than anything else, too. She's been a good mother, Bridget. You know that. I haven't seen him wear his red sweater. I made him. Oh, he wore a Christmas day. Yeah, for about a minute and a half. No, all day. This is a new year for us, Bridget. This is the year we're supposed to work on our own lives. Isn't that what we said? Oh, after a great start, aren't we? Hey, look at all the losers we met tonight. What, is that supposed to make me feel better or something? I don't know. I feel better. I look at them and I say, hey, maybe I'm better off alone. 
I don't know. I look at him and say, I'm never going to trust anyone again, especially not a guy, not the way I'm supposed to if I'm ever going to make something with anyone. I'm sure you'll find a way if he's good looking enough. Oh, as if you didn't fall in love with someone because they were beautiful. I just want to know that one day I'm going to be able to feel that way again. The way I felt about heart. What about the guy in the white jacket? What guy? The guy sitting at the bar. But he'd make you feel better on a cold winter day. He looks like Tom Cruise on a bad hair day. Window shopping was fun. And I didn't even have to dance with another girl. With you, Lynn. Girls weren't such dogs at the party. Blonde in the black strapless. Which one was that? Don't even try to pretend that you didn't notice her. She's the one with the gigantic <laughs> pimples, you know. Yeah, she was sitting with that guy that looked like his eyebrows were knitted together. Hey, 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 easy there. I thought he was kind of cute. No, I think the guy in the white jacket, that's the one to make you forget all about her. What's wrong? Do you think she's okay? She's probably just having a nightmare. You know, a horse nightmare. You'd probably have nightmares, too, if you had to sleep standing up. She's got enough feed, right? Well, yeah, I, I just... I really think we should go check on her. I mean, what if something's out there? Hey, it's probably a skunk or something. The only thing out there this time of night we don't want to deal with. Let's just go home. But, but it's just my responsibility. I'll check on her in the morning. Let's go.